I we create the database now we are going to create the um, new project okay new project click the new project and click the empty web application after that we need to create a class shopping cart right click your project and go to add click the new item there you need to select class and rename name rename it shopping cart shopping cart okay now we create a class inside that you need to I will make this bigger little 125 it's enough okay okay uh, first we need to <coughs> delete this namespace with this curly bracket and this curly bracket also make it the edge we have two classes here we need to create two classes one is public class of pink cart other one is public class card item card item okay okay i will make this as a capital letter you can do it's okay not important inside the card item we need to uh, give that item id item name pr price quantity url subtotal okay let's do one by one private that item id is int mm, so item id that second letter should be in the capital this letter okay id it's come with id then you can see the different otherwise it's all the same mm. Second one is uh, should be string. Uh, string should be always capital S. Start with. Don't forget. Item name. Third one is we have price. We will put the uh, for double price. Uh, and fourth one is quantity. Quantity should be we can put. Uh, in in i uh, int q u q u e n quantity and other one is um, uh, url url should be in string url <coughs> In the final one, uh, subtotal, subtotal. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to create the get set method. For that uh, we can use the uh, shortcut. Shortcut is Control R plus E. Control R plus E. Otherwise, uh, and then two times enter. Uh, if you is it difficult to you you can. Uh, use this right click it and go to this refractor and encapsulation field. okay two times enter okay i will use the shortcut control r plus e two times enter control r plus e two times enter control r plus e two times enter you almost we have a one subtotal control r plus e two times enter and in the subtotal we don't have set method then we have we can we have to delete and uh, in the <coughs> it should return uh, price into uh, quantity okay and we need to calculate that okay okay now fin we finish the first class that uh, cart item okay we'll go for second shopping cart 
uh, here we need to create the list private list uh, inside the list we need to type that first first cart item we create the first one okay here this first one okay this cart item should be here and we have to name it uh, I will put items okay now we need to uh, do the get set method for this also so I use the control control plus r plus e I use that okay now what we need to do is uh, that we need to create the uh, inst uh, constructor for this public shopping cart okay Public shopping cart uh, inside we need to type uh, that object for this item uh, here we made this name we we have to make the object for this items uh, equal new list cart item okay don't forget uh, you need to put the bracket in the end okay I finish now the constructor now we need to create the uh, method find id okay we need to create the method find id it should return int that is why i put int method name is find id find id okay i will make this capital i and we need to pass the uh, parameter here id okay and inside the find id we have for loop and if condition we'll write the for loop first uh, in the for loop in the for loop we have inside uh, i it start with zero and i uh, less than i think items dot count item dot count and its increment i plus plus okay inside the for loop we have a if condition okay if condition in the if condition what we need to write this uh, we have item okay item in the inside the square bracket we need to put the i we create the object here and uh, dot item id ID is equal id okay is two times equal okay id <coughs> and it should return uh, i return i okay and after the for loop also you need to return minus one okay re return minus one okay now we finish the find id method and let's do the insert insert method now okay uh, <coughs> let me make this this public um, insert uh, is not return anything so i put a uh, void insert insert uh, we pass the parameter id name name should be in string uh, name and quantity qun and uh, now we have double uh, sorry uh, we have price and we have URL also. URL. <coughs> now we need to write inside the index method. We have uh, if L condition will write. Before that, we need to have a, a index uh, variable. Uh, index variable find id okay find id we need to put the id inside it okay 
this id should be this id okay don't forget <coughs> if uh, index not equal to not equal to minus one then it should happen okay what should happen is item dot not dot in the square bracket you need to put index uh, dot quantity is equal to you need to put that q q u n but before that you need to put plus here okay plus equal okay don't forget plus equal okay now we need to write the else part for this if condition we'll do that okay in the else part we need to write uh, cart item uh, object okay like object this i cart item new cart item again we need to pass uh, that all things we write here okay these things okay we need to equalize it, i think item id we creating the cart item name so we need to make it this id okay and <clears throat> there we have item name we need to have here name and there we have price and in here we are we put pri <clears throat> and there we have quantity we put here q even and uh, in the last we put a url there and here we put a simple url <coughs> okay now we finish and we need to finish with this uh, semicolon don't forget okay uh, this is a insert method so we have a uh, item list so we inserting in the item list okay we have a item list yeah, we create okay we insert in this uh, like a this is a like a array okay list okay so we need to call this and that method is at okay we put we put everything this thing inside so we have in this i object okay i put i okay now we finish the uh, we finish the insert part don't forget uh, you need to carefully man uh, see that uh, curly brackets where it start and where it's end <coughs> sorry now we need to write the remove uh, so remove method uh, public void remove uh, here we have to pass uh, index okay inside the method it's very simple here in the insert method we I uh, we write the item dot at here we need to write the item dot remove at remove at okay we need to pass the index because we we have a variable index okay index okay end it now i finish the uh, remove also remove method finally we need to write the subtotal public double total okay total uh, inside the total we have a get mm, you need to have a variable dot uh, that type is very vari uh, variable type is double dot i initialize it not okay in in the inside the get you need to have a for each method okay uh, inside the for each 
uh, you need to write the um, TOT this TOT you have TOT plus equal okay plus equal plus equal I dot subtotal I dot subtotal okay don't forget uh, I dot subtotal in this I should be we in the for each we need to write a method okay we'll write that first uh, cart item uh, you can check the spelling that should be capital C okay cart item capital C Mm, cart item uh, I we will put I as a name okay not capital I in not in okay in <coughs> items okay in here we have to put TOT plus or minus I dot subtotal okay finish it Mm, remember tot plus uh, plus equal i dot subtotal and in the after the for reach uh, you need to return tot return dot okay now we finish almost everything uh, inside the class i will make this smaller I don't know you will see or not that uh, first class we have a get get and set method for that five things and uh, in the second class we have a, a list first and uh, we will make a constructor for that and after that we have a find method here and after that uh, we have a insert and after that uh, we have a remove and total okay okay now we finish uh, that shopping cart class now we'll go to make a uh, that home web form for that create uh, go to that your yeah, project and add here yeah, go to web form okay web form make it the name home and I will give the title for this uh, product you can give any name <coughs> okay here uh, I will make a headline product product I will make this uh, heading um, we now <coughs> we need data set for that uh, go to your toolbox okay go to your toolbox uh, here search your data set okay data list okay data list inside the data you have data list drag and drop here and uh, choose your data source and uh, click the new data source after that click the uh, SQL database and now you need to make a new connection change it to this we use the access so <coughs> click the Microsoft access, access database file now you need to browse we are uh, I click the product protect um, uh, DB click OK and click next click next and you need we need everything so we i will check everything and click next you if you want you can <coughs> test the query now it's working finish it after that uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, make this as a horizontal method now it's in a vertical method for that uh, right click it your that uh, data list and go to property there uh, you need to search the uh, return 
let let me see repeat the direction for that vertical change to that uh, horizontal and uh, you can arrange uh, how much uh, items you want in the one list and i make it a three in one list <coughs> okay now if you run it will work mm, and we need to uh, arrange something for that now it's work we need to have a picture so that uh, we need to put the picture uh, image button okay so for that uh, click this and go to this click this arrow and click the edit template okay we don't want the url here so i erase it and uh, we don't want description also okay i erase it uh, and we have a uh, we need to have a uh, image button so and drag and drop okay and uh, make this bigger and now we need to uh, bind it for bind your picture click this arrow and edit data binding uh, here in the uh, here in the data pro bindable property you need to select image uh, url and uh, in the bond to you need to select the url <coughs> and uh, here you need to select uh, general note and here you need to click the custom before that i forgot one thing you need to make here uh, a new folder inside your project click this and click add mm, click a new folder and make this as a image okay image uh, inside the image you need to paste everything that pixels i will do first uh, Okay, let's do that. Copy and paste it there. Click, right click it and paste it. Okay, now you can do now. Go to that edit data binding. Uh, choose here URL, general, not, not, and go to custom uh, binding. Okay, now what you need to type is uh, this backward uh, slats. Before that, uh, you need to make this sign and uh, inside after that img and again this sign okay i will uh, put it in a notepad okay what you need to type is uh, these things okay now i hope you can see only you need to type these things okay other all are generate that sign img okay okay fine uh, <coughs> click okay that's all if we run it we can see that uh, it's all picture should come okay now what we need to do is uh, when we click that uh, image it should have to go another page so for that we need to create the detail go to add and uh, web form click web form and make it a detail uh, okay now i give the title and uh, detail details and go to design and they are uh, we need uh, we, we can may put a product or something uh, products okay i will make this as a uh, heading and we need to have a data list same thing data list drag and drop and uh, again click choose this data source and click this database and okay you don't want to click new connection you have previous one select this click next and we need to have everything so i will put everything okay in the where condition uh, 
you need to go click that via condition via clause okay here yeah. click this and in the column we need to select item id when we give that item id it should go to that uh, which product okay so operator equal source is uh, con query string and here uh, query string field you need to put id and click at click ok now we finish this and uh, click next and you can test the query if i give 101 we can see what is the product we can see this okay click finish it now i finish and as i do before i will make that horizontal okay go to your property and repeat direction you can make it horizontal i make uh, um, three or something ah, no need to do this uh, okay okay uh, we can play this now and if we give this uh, next to question mark and uh, id is equal whatever id if you if i give 102 it will show the uh, what is the product okay 102 if i give 103 uh, you can see the product but uh, i just show this for your understanding and we need we don't want we have to uh, edit template go to that edit template we don't want this url so we here we have image okay don't put image button image and make it larger and click this little arrow and go to here and same thing okay click the url uh, and here we have general click this same thing before i put okay same thing okay nothing change i make it again okay IMG. IMG again this okay click OK now we'll check again if we put what it shall happen okay now you can see this okay finally we have to do one thing or oh, when we click only it should have to go so for that go to home and click this image button arrow Go to that edit binding don't forget in the home okay and click this so old property and uh, go click the post back url and here you need to click the item id okay when you give id only it's cool. and select general note and click this custom and now you need to write the that page our page is detail d e t a i l s and dot with the extension a p a s p x okay we type the question mark and id is equal okay all all thing i write okay i will copy this and paste again uh, <coughs> okay this is your page i page okay and question mark id this thing uh, you know ne? Uh, question mark id equal okay okay thanks we'll check uh, we'll run our home page now okay when we click this uh, it should go to that particular product now it's go it's working well okay see you in next video thank you